Target looking for some lamps for the nightstands. Hopefully they have a lot of options. If not, I want to try another Target because I really want lamps for the nightstands. I saw online they have a good amount. So fingers crossed. Okay, I found the aisle. Okay, that one is really cute, this one. But I don't know if that's the vibe. It's giving me like beach house. Let's see. Ooh, this one's really pretty. This glass one. Okay, I'm really liking this one because this one kind of has like a bulbous type of, you know, feel to it. And it's also really like oddly soft. I really, really like this one. I think it's $65. It's kind of pricey in my opinion, $65, but... I kind of like it. I don't know if I want something like taller or more like stout. I'm not sure, but there is a good amount of options. And if I were to get that one, then there's also another one to match. I do need to buy two. Ooh, this one's quite cute as well. Oh, they have like more smaller lamps right there. But what do you guys think about this one for just like a decor piece? They also have a matte black one too. Hmm. I wish I kind of had a gray one, but would you go like this and put it in? Hmm. Really cute. And they also have so many spring things out right now. I'm really excited to go over there in a sec. But these are so cute for transitioning into spring. And I feel like my target right now is really stocked so look how nice this little marble decorative bowl is only twenty dollars and it's so heavy and it's such good quality i feel like this would be like 60 bucks at cradenborough of cb2 and it's so nice i also like how it's like different colored marbles i think that's kind of a vibe i kind of want it but i don't really know what to use for it or what to put in it okay i got this face the other day at another target a couple weeks ago i'll show you guys what it looks like this one is so so nice only 20 dollars, and i think i want to pick up the more circle bulbous one and i don't know where i want to put it yet but it's so so cute i love this line it's like white and it has like these like paint streaks on it and this one's also 20 dollars as well and if you're interested they have a super super tall one but um i think it's a little too tall for the decor in my apartment so this one's like a perfect middle so i already have this one and i think i'm gonna grab this one hi guys it's been a little bit of time since i went to target and i wanted to give you guys a little haul of what i got that day and i already kind of sporadically put them throughout the apartment of where i want them so i wanted to give you guys a little haul of everything i got i'm so excited with how the apartment is turning out it looks so good it's definitely like so cozy comfy super warm too i don't know i really like how the aesthetic of this apartment is turning out then my last apartment not that i didn't like the last place but i feel like i just took my time this time and ordered pieces that i really liked and that i could use for a very very long time some of the things in my apartment are still ikea but i do feel like investing in pieces that are like higher quality and that can last a long time and that are a little bit more durable i feel like is just like the way to go sometimes but i do like some of my ikea pieces don't get me wrong like i'll show you guys some of the things later my dresser i love so much it's the mom dresser from ikea but I want to show you guys what I got at Target. So if you guys remember from a couple of vlogs back, I was on the hunt for a shower curtain. Also, I don't know why this jacket, it kind of like pops like this when I like raise my hand up to vlog. So don't mind that. It looks kind of weird. If you guys remember um, a couple of vlogs back when I did like this huge Target haul when I first moved in, I was trying to find a shower curtain and then I returned it. And then I literally have not had a shower curtain since. I've just been using the shower liner every time I go in the bath. So I finally picked an up another shower curtain and this one is Hearth in Hand from Magnolia. I'm hoping that I like it because the last one gave me like hospital vibes of the way it looked. It's supposed to look like this. It looks honestly kind of similar to the last one I picked, but that one was just like so thick. I don't know why it reminded me of like a hospital gown or something. It was not the vibe. So this one just has like a little bit of like details like this. So I got that from Target the other day. So gonna put that up later today so that was one of the first things i got from target and then another big update for the apartment is the rug the rug has finally arrived 
It looks so, so good. This rug is from All Modern. I will find it and link it down below for you guys. It comes in a ton of sizes. I will say it took a long, long time for it to come. It honestly took like a month and a half. I love the texture of it and I feel like it's a lot pet friendly and my dog doesn't like dig holes in it because my other one was like woven. And it's like a nice like off cream color. And there's a couch. That's just where the shower curtain just was. We have our mirror right here, a little drink table, um, a little basket right there for blankets. And I want to get that olive tree that I've been talking about to you guys. It looks so, so good and so much more put together with a rug. Same coffee table from the last place. This coffee table is from CB2. It's an acrylic coffee table. And right now in the middle, I just have two little decoration pieces. This is a dip cheap candle. It smells so good. And then this is one of the things I picked up at Target the other day. I think I showed you guys when I was vlogging in Target, they had a different one that was a little smaller and I believe the vase thing was also kind of different. And then when I walked down a different aisle, I saw this one. I thought this one was way, way cuter. And I like how it's just like slightly bigger. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like some texture on the vase and it is so, so pretty. It's like fake lavender. And I think it's just like the most perfect, pretty pop of color. And it's so perfect for like transitioning into spring and summer. And I'm just really excited to like change up little decorations on the coffee table. I want to get a coffee table book. I think I want to head to Home Goods like next week to look for coffee table books and then put like this candle on top and continue to put this here. But guys, this is so pretty. It was, let's see, it was $10. Pretty good. Super nice quality. They had so many good spring stuff as you guys saw when I was vlogging in Target. I'm in the bedroom. This is the part that I'm so, so excited and I just can't believe like how well it turned out. We got our nightstands the other day and then we mounted the TV. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It's so, so cozy in here, especially at night when it's dark outside, obviously. We turned the lamps on, we got the lamps yesterday and I just wanna show you guys already. So this is what the bedroom is looking like. So please don't mind that, that's my dog's bed. I'm still not sure where I want to put her whether in that corner or this corner i sleep on this side and she's like my little baby and she wants to be near me so even though it obviously doesn't look the most aesthetic right here you know you gotta do what you gotta do so for now my dog is right there but if you kind of take this away this is the new nightstands that we got we obviously got two of them and there's obviously always like a lot more natural lighting coming through these blinds but you know for privacy reasons i don't want to completely you know draw them out because you can't see like the view and everything but you guys can still get the idea these nightstands are like my dream nightstands i did so much research and i just wanted to find something that was like a good decent price i think too too crazy this style is like super popular like i saw some that were running for like one thousand dollars just for one nightstand this is from article and that's like my new favorite like furniture shop site i will link the exact ones that i got down below just the most gorgeous color wood it's like a light oak color beigey oak color it's not yellow it's just such a cool toned oak color as you guys can see what i love about it is of course it has storage and they're also self-closing which i didn't even know when i bought it until i received it that it was self-closing like look how awesome that is i never even had self-closing nightstands before and they're just like the perfect size not too big not too small and like I said, just matches with the aesthetic of the room and the bed. The bed came first, so I worked around the bed, which I will get to the bed in a second. But these nice hands just came the other day from Article. By the way, they were so fast on shipping and they already came assembled. We did not have to assemble this, which is just a 10 out of 10. The boxes were super heavy, but it was so worth it because it was already assembled. And I just have my glasses here, my Stanley here right now. Get a little trinket dish right here for like a little catch-all dish. And as you guys saw, I went to Target yesterday. These are the lamps that we ended up picking out. I think if I watch back the vlog, these were actually the first ones that I laid my eyes on and it was the one that I ended up getting. And obviously there's a little switch. I think it's the perfect size. It's a lampshade that is more of like a cone. Super, super nice quality. This one I believe is a threshold. I will also try to find these and link them down below. And I'm so happy that we found two of them because they easily could have just had one and that would have been annoying. We found two of them. They were in perfect condition and the little shades were also plastic wrapped. So it was super, super nice. And I am just obsessed with it. Like she is so gorgeous. We move over here in the middle. We have the bed. So this bed is from 
Crate and Barrel. It's called the Anali bed, I believe, and it's kind of like a cloud bed. It's a low profile, which I love so much. It has soft rounded sides and it's like a nice cloth like weaved material this bed was definitely an investment i wanted to definitely invest in a really nice bed that we can bring continue to bring with us in the places we move in as you know we move on from each apartment or to a condo to eventually a house i was thinking that this bed could go into a guest room when we eventually move into a house and we need like a king size bed for a master bedroom in a house bedding and the duvet cover is from parachute um, we got two pillows over there and then right here in the middle of the wall we just mounted the tv yesterday so exciting and if you guys saw before i had the dresser right here with the tv mounted but we decided to move it over there because there would obviously be no space if the dresser was right here which i really like the dresser being right there it's like a different vibe and there's just a lot of more walkway so the tv is a really big tv i didn't even realize how big it was until we mounted it on the dresser it really didn't do it justice so yeah the cord right there is a little bit annoying but we'll get some cable management in the near future that's the least thing i'm worried about right now i'm just so happy we finally have a mounted tv this trash can is from cb2 and it also matches the tissue box it's from the same line from cb2 this little guy right here i believe is from h&m home and i have a little tea light candle in it so cute this was at my last place this is the one that i ended up picking up it's from a threshold and it's called the ceramic vase i got like a month ago and this is like the more like normal vase shape and then i put some pompous grass in here so this one obviously um i don't have anything yet i just got this but i will decide what to put in it but for now i kind of just like put them together and then of course we have the second nightstand and that is pretty much what it is looking like and i'm just so happy with the bed the bed is like the star of the show obviously and then i worked my way around it on like how i wanted to decorate it and what kind of nightstands i wanted so yeah i'm really happy with how it's turning out and that's pretty much like the majority of the like last apartment things we need to buy because we got the rug we got the nightstands we got the bed if you guys saw my moving vlogs you would know that we slept on our just our mattress for like four weeks before we decided to get like the bed because I, like I said, I wanted to do the proper research and everything and know what kind of bed I for sure wanted. It's been about two months of deciding, buying, and waiting for the furniture to be delivered and to see kind of like how it all came out. I'm just so happy with the result. So I wanted to show you guys this. I got a PR package from Living Proof the other day. They just came out with this scalp care density serum. It's an anti-aging hair care and it's a scalp treatment and it's supposed to be good for like hair growth and it also says it helps with like gray hairs so i might give one to like my mom or something see if she wants one because they sent me three uh, i'm not sure why they sent me three but i'm obviously so grateful like a really nice like heavy bottle it's like a dropper this is like part of like a new line at sephora that's what like the pr package said but yeah really really excited to use this thank you living proof for sending this over i really hope you guys enjoyed environment updates but Right now, I think I'm going to change and go to the gym. It's been a hot sec since I've been to the gym. I want to hit that up. And I'm also wearing that Patch Her Tall blush again that I showed you guys in my last vlog. And I am seriously so obsessed with it. I want to buy another shade already. And then make some dinner or maybe grab some dinner. I'm not sure because our fridge is pretty empty right now. And I'm going to head to Trader Joe's tomorrow. So... Not sure what I do about dinner, but the other day I went to Costco and I got this huge box of croissants, which is actually insane for two people. I have to freeze some of them. This whole thing of croissants is $5.99. Like, that's crazy. And I grew up eating those. My parents used to get those all the time for us. So I'm really excited to eat those for breakfast next week. And I also picked up some san pellegrinos are lemon flavored and blood orange which is my favorite so i'm excited to crack one open later but yeah those are the updates that are happening thank you guys for always liking my videos commenting and just watching my videos it means the world to me just know that you know my little subscriber family is growing and i really appreciate any type of like interaction i have with you guys whether it's on instagram or on youtube just the best so yeah i will update you guys later